Hi, today I'm going to talk about this, the cloud code, how it works, and I wanted to change some of it. So, like me, I was a UX architect and like product manager, and I don't know in those your companies or your country there is a lot of UX architect, but in Korea here there is like the specific work that you have to do the architect work in IT companies. So I realized that when I was AI coding, uh, it was like if you code to ask the AI to make the code, it just codes it and just works it out. So many of the developers use this git commit things. But my thought was that just like let AI to do everything and just do most of it. I know there is a cloud code with the planning, but you have to do by the documents. Okay, let's see the screen and let me tell you about what exactly it is. If you go to like cloud code, you can write some comment like anything else you can say. Um, like make me uh, to do web. That will be really simple, but I said in the previous video that you really don't have to be like this simple. I like a to-do app that has the calendars or there is some filters, filters that has to-do, progress, and done, like hashtag. Maybe not a hashtag, maybe it's just a tag. And sometimes this should be specific about this app and you have to tell them what it is and how I want to make. So for this, so you really can't write this comment, just a line of code. I know it is really a lot, but if you make it that you have to like change it every time. Like if you want to change this filter, it's like not happening. So the full process was like, I like a comment to the cloud and the cloud code makes the, the app or the web with this code and you look at it. So you see it with your eyes, you see it, you check it like you QA and then call him back again. Right here is the problem. Right here, you comment this lines the AI thinks that he needs something and something and he makes it over it. So this line of code, like it can be changed, like refresh everything. So this is the point that if the developers doesn't really like this part, they just go to Git and discard everything. So this was the one problem that I was thinking. So I realized that I have to make some another process that was like start with this PRD you know the most of the uh, product has to be needed the PRD and that PRD needs a lot of uh, comments and the details in it so I toast it to the AI and AI make this initial PRD uh, initial PRD has to be lots of it like if you want to make a to-do app there is a to-do that goes to screen the screen with the main page and like home or the settings or add to do or or edit or tag editing and then like some lot of things but these can't be really made into one prd it's not just if you like let the ai to make this this is like one page prd like one page it's a lot of lines there it will be just in the MD file with a single one. But I realized on this part, like if you have to make a PRD, let AI to make everything by the screen, like main, like MD, a home, MD, settings, MD, add to do, MD. And in this single files, there has to be a lot of detail. So if there is a details, you want to change it, right? So you have to go to this single page that you want to tell the AI to fix it. So this is another one. The single file to tell AI to update MD file with main. So this will be updated with this new main MD, right? 
So if you make this main MD file, then this whole MDs like the new main MD and home and setting. So like if you're made like this much, then you have to take this everything to tell the AI to make an app. So as you can see here, uh, the previous one, this is the really big difference. If you go to the cloud code and says that, hey, make this app, then it goes to the app right here. So it goes to make an app and just do it, voila. And, and right here, it doesn't even start in this start with this everything. It goes right here. So from the beginning, you have to write lots of PRD files that you can really specify that what you need, you really want, and you have to think about the details in the MD file. So after that, you make this and the SEM apps will be created right here. But in here, this all the files will be matched. So if you want to edit some updates, like the flows goes, this way and you can make some updates with this matching file in the main like, TSX. Those are flows that I was thinking and it works really great. I'll come back really fast so I can show you how it works. Okay for the fast you know, like showing up what this is doing sorry about this is in Korean I was letting him to make when I was coding and editing with this like my app right inside here and I already have commented and this after I was commenting lots of these details have been changed so I have to let them to check this uh, PRD and my app inside my site and it should be updating my PRD files so it's doing a lot of jobs right now in PRD there is a 31 pages as you can see this is my like menu the structure it has but you have to see how detailed it is and yeah it's updating everything and right here you can see like md files prd screen and md files there are lots of changes right now so my file is made by next.js collapse this file this src there's no any other changes because i prompted it that you have to change just this prd files based on this src so if you go to the comment the app file location is like src here and prd file location is right this for you guys i have updated my comments right here so first one if you have already installed this you're working on this, some projects you have to first initialize this one this prd structure initial this has to be has the initial file in this like if you have added this md files in the comments like you have slash and you go to this initial and in structure initial you have to press a tab and there has to be a file that like initial.md that file is right here underneath the initial file has to be like feature or documents or other consideration and specs what i am using right is like uh, to make simple to do app and the features will be calendar settings and some Kanban word and you have to more specific with this like some more details in this features like if you can you want to have some arrows want arrows to change the month and yeah some kind of that like blah blah you have to edit everything so on the specs like I'm using mostly this Next.js and Superbase and the documentation is like some more things that you want to add or the links you want to add that will be really helpful to AI to consider how it looks and how it will be so after you structuring this product structure initial and you write the name right there and it AI reads this file and goes voila and everything if you don't have any the PRD files in this comment like here it generates the PRD folder it will be look like this so after you initialize this structure PRDs that will be right inside here so 
like home there's a home page if you want to log in that has to be have a login here and the sign up the sign up is here and all the platform is like managed inside everything and after you making this one you wanted to have some added some features in it so after before you go to update you have to go to like home md file and like this watch what do you want to change you just can just select this line and do the comments here but you it has to be read all the features like if you want to change some lines in here it doesn't really change just single of that it has like underneath the flow or the like you have to check it the everything but you can't because you're a human with the ai you can just enlighten a comment here then it will think which one to change so it will be it so i made some comment that will you can make some updates from the directly from the md file that if you like have updated like for example the admission file there's a mission file that you have updated everything so you have used this product the prd updates and like admission md and make make some edit add some add cars that admin can check the activity from users like if i press enter and it updates this md file and it all be changed right but after that it's not like going to directly change the code because you have to confirm that which one is changed and you really have to check what is really going to change and after that is changed you can have this updated md file but in the code it didn't really change it yet so that is the next flow you have to follow this the ctrl c and code update from the product md the file name will be this product the admin the admission dot md yeah but and just press enter this md file with the latest version and it will change to this the admission of the page and last that will be changed the code lately the context engineering that is like what I'm thinking right now. In South Korea, the UX architect, they make some pages with these features and what are they gonna change and what was as is and what is going to be. And so we always write these pages that like looks like PRD. And most of those works, it has to be really thinking details and which users can be really good features, does it really help? And you have to think before the like code goes. It's like, I know, this AI helps everything like really smooth and it changes really fast. But if you don't like have comments with like four or five times, you can make it just one with this like PRD updates. That's it for my video right now. And I hope this could be really helpful and I will leave this, this comments in my Git and I will let you to know how it works. And maybe if there is some little like questions you really didn't get just let me know in the comments below so i can follow up with you and i can help you with it if you liked it please thumbs up if you loved it please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you next time